this here is a loom, uh, the typical loom that a rug is woven on, which is the warp and the weft. And the uniqueness about this type of, of weaving is that when a rug is created, it is created row at a time. When you come into our store or any, any oriental rug store, as long as they're selling genuine oriental rugs, you're walking into a museum because the rugs are not oil paintings. They're woven wool paintings. My name is Robert Dermatorosian and uh, I am third generation of the Oriental Isfahan Rug Company, which was established in 1921 by my grandfather. Growing up in the rug business, um, I guess it wasn't so much growing up in, in the rug business if it was just carpeting, but growing up in the Oriental rug business was a whole, was, I mean, when you see how these rugs are made, you know, how, how the, the work that goes into it, it's art. So a lot of people say, how long have you been in this business? And I say, since I was one years old, <laughs> when I was able to walk around and crawl around on the rug. When you're growing up in a family business, your, your parents want you to be in it. And that's how, so that's how it was. Okay, now this picture here, this is a picture that's, that, that's probably circa 1927, 1928. This was my father, uh, and this is my grandfather. And this is, this is their first truck that, that he acquired at, 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 in the business. So growing up in, in, in the family that loved Oriental rugs, you, you, you grow up doing it too, you know? And the thing about Oriental rugs, it, the people, a lot of my importers that I deal with, their fathers are still 90 years old. They still go to work every day. I'm not married, so I don't have any family to carry on. And uh, once our inventory is depleted, I just wanted to uh, just close the business because I don't like to have our name carried on by other people that can not run it successfully like we did. We have seen other companies that were taken over by other people and it's like, you know, the old saying it says, boy, that company is not run like the original owners. So I feel sad that a business of our, of our status is going to, uh, you know, come to an end, but our business brought and, and it made our family to what it is today. It made good history in Fitchburg. This here is a, is a, is a, is a rug that is, uh, that is a Persian origin, which is a village-made rug. You know, and these are what they call like a little Harati design, or what we call like a fish pattern design. This here is a very unusual rug here. This is not a rug. This is, this is a horse blanket. I'm getting a lot of phone calls from people saying, do you buy back oriental rugs? And I say, why don't you give them to your kids? Their answer is, they don't want them. The young generation today is not seeing these rugs as, as work of art anymore. They, you know, they're, they're going to a lot of stores that are just buying a, a rug that, that looks like this because they, it's going to be a throwaway society. Uh, they, they don't, they don't want to buy, they want to buy a rug that, you know, they're going to have on the floor for five years. This one here is a rug made in Iran. It was a commemorative rug of the Shah, his wife, and, and the, the, the boy in the middle is, is, is Reza. It's very unusual to, 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 to have a rug of that nature. But we were lucky to come across it, and uh, we've had a lot of people that wanted to buy that. And I says, no, that, that we're keeping the family. <laughs> There's something about being around these things. These are like children, you know? <laughs> you know, it's not, I mean, you know, like an automobile is one thing, or, or clothes, or, but an oriental rug, or, or, you know, it's a whole different, you know, feeling to be with them. You know, it's like, sometimes, sometimes we sell a rug, and we say, I wished I never sold it, you know? <laughs>